Converge or diverge, we have sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, parentheses 1 over n to the third power plus 1 over 3 to the nth power. This is what we can do. We can look at this as two separate series. The first one is sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the third power. And let me put parentheses, we'll focus on this first. And then we add it with the second series, which is the sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, the second one, 1 over 3 to the nth power, like that. Let's talk about this first. Do we know if this converge or not? Yes, we do. This is 1 over n to the third power, so you know this right here is a p-series. p is 3, and we know 3 is bigger than 1. When we have the p is bigger than 1 by the p-series, we know this right here converges, right? How about the second one right here? We have 1 over 3 to the nth power. We know this right here is 1 over 3 and then to the nth power. And this is actually a geometry series. So for this one, we know r is a geometry series, right? So the r right here is 1 over 3. And then in the geometry series situation, you want to make sure the absolute value of r is less than 1. We have 1 third, so which is less than 1. So this is good. Also converges. And then here's a little zero. When you have a convergent plus with another convergent, just remember this. Convergent is like you are going to get a finite value. And then you are going to add with another finite value. At the end, you will always end up with a finite value. So the original also has to converge. So here is the conclusion right here that I'm going to write down for you guys. I'm going to write down the original sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, parentheses 1 over n to the third power plus 1 over 3 to the n. This right here converges because, so just put on because, okay, this is because, because the sum of two convergent um, series also has to converge, okay? The sum of two convergent series also converges. That's it.